Friends, hello again. This time we're going to talk about heredity and uh, these equations they use to determine heredity and why they overall tend to overestimate the role of heredity compared to that of environment, largely because they're not separable and also because they don't get correlation. So let's focus on Plumman's work, it has a lot of flaws. The first one is IQ. They assume that IQ is predictive of real world, all that group, not just Plumman, all that world. Uh, um, they, they, they think that IQ predicts something in the real world. Uh, does it predict stuff in the real world? Uh, the problem is, yes, it does. If you take a function, it's piecewise, piecewise function. Here, a correlation, 100%, and here, zero, it would appear to have a very high correlation. Again, always be suspicious of metrics that rely on correlation under nonlinear environment because it becomes uninformative. Mutual information, entropy based methods are vastly more informative on that later, as, as, as you know, um, my next book is probably going to be on entropy. So the, uh, and, and again, to just figure out why correlation is meaningless in many environments, this function is x, y equal f of x, x, 100% of the monistic, no noise, correlation will be zero. So, so uh, but of course, mutual information will be infinite. So, the uh, let's uh, so let's talk about Plumman twin study and what is this business. I mean, you'll notice immediately that Plumman doesn't know um, probability because they don't get intransitivity. A lot of the group of people they use, uh, uh, say, uh, proxies. Okay, so the SA, uh, your SAT is, is a proxy for IQ. To use the productivity of SAT in real world performance, not realizing there's the uh, circularity there, but people having those who will go to college, paying them more anyway. But they don't realize that if A correlates with B, B correlates with C, A doesn't necessarily correlate with C. And if it does, it's not, it can be considerably weaker. Okay. So the the transitivity of correlation is just a minor problem. Let's talk about the core. Someone came up with a measure h square. Uh, two times the difference between the correlation between, say here, identical twins and quaternal twins. Let's. Uh, the formula they work with called Falconer's formula. I have no idea about its rigor, but I suspect there's are some problems in in the fact that I mean the logic of it is that fraternal twins share half their genes, whereas identical twins have the totality of the genes together. And then also, but this is stochastic. You don't always have half the genes; you have a lot more for some twins. So there may be some convexity somewhere. Let's forget that. But that equation relies on the difference between identical twins and fraternal twins. And there you can extract the environmental mental effect and get heredity. Hmm. Nice story. Thought experiment. Thought experiment. Let's talk about environment, environment one. And then we're going to have environment two, environment three. We index them. Okay. And let's talk about diabetes. Environment one, forager. Okay. What's a correlation between zero? There's no, there's no diabetes. So. Uh, for foragers or say a community that, that has okay. Similarly, 
a stinky community that it is where you have kids grown up in a world where there's no cars. Future world where people use bicycles to go to work. Low rate of diabetes. They can't really infer the same correlation. And now, environment three. Minneapolis, present Minneapolis, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, and all that stuff. You're going to have high heritability of diabetes. Okay. So now, when you get the correlation here, that row. Hmm, what are you getting? You're getting conditional row. You're not getting unconditional row. An unconditional row is to take weighted average across exposures. These here can be subsumed into sets of exposures. Now, you have a case of stochastic correlation. Regime or same mixing uh, regimes, same result. Now, it so happened that we in finance know a lot of stuff about stochastic variance. We have the, 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 the variance uh, gamma that was born in finance, in quantitative finance. In, uh, in mathematical finance has produced a lot of stuff on random matrices. So we are sort of, we have worked with stochastic uh, stuff. I myself started working with stochastic correlation early on in my career. <clears throat> before even I completed my studies, that was my interest. And of course, I was traded stochastic variant, uh, stochastic correlation. So the, the dynamic hedging shows these triangles. So we know it's difficult to get the unconditional because for the following reason, and this is here what makes things complex. It would be easy if the variance, say now let's assume the normal distribution, mu i sigma i, Okay. If all the environments are equal and you spend omega i in every state, or the probability of being in every state is omega i, then things would be simple because then you can average the unconditional correlation. Okay. It is going to be sum of omega i rho i, where correlation becomes additive. But the problem is that correlations not additive when you have uh, different means and different variances. When you're changing means and variances, because let's think about it. Environment one, Kawahari Desert, low correlation. So to extract the falconer thing, you're gonna get close to zero, but no variance. Minneapolis, High variance depends on families. It depends on how far you are from uh, uh, a uh, McDonald's. Okay, and environment three may have high or low variance. So, and the mean. Okay, so because correlation depends on, on I mean, basic equation. Let's get into the the write up. So, so how do we work with uh, the total correlation across regimes? Specifically, you got to go to characteristic functions. The thing I simplified here is that we have, we're looking at a bivariate distribution, not a multivariate distribution. We're dealing with pairs. So the uh, dimensionality is low because it's one point versus the other on both sides. So, uh, uh, and 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 uh, working with characteristic function, we got to work with characteristic function. We can pull out the correlation from characteristic function of the overall distribution. So you're not summing up correlation; you take the overall distribution, uh, which is a linear combination of uh, weighted states, and you can, you can do what we do in finance, which make it the whole thing stochastic. And then you'll see the mess it creates to pull out the unconditional correlation. Uh, and the equation is here, 
Okay, so uh, for, for simply two states, just say Kawalahari Desert versus this or something like low, low where you have low uh, exposure versus high exposure. And then you realize that what we're getting is a maximum correlation fit back to a certain environment. That's for the twin uh, studies in general. When applied to IQ is actually uh, even more and more interesting because just as we know that the, the, the diabetes can express itself in some environment on others, because you have you know, likewise IQ, the definition of intelligence required to function changes according to environments. That's another flaw of the metric. So therefore the heritability for specific tests would change if the nature of the test really and, and uh, there's this illusion in psychology that these IQ tests are uh, general and domain general, they're not, okay. Um, and, and we showed that uh, my friends and I were going to be publishing uh, something on it soon. So just the lesson is that you cannot extricate environment from uh, heredity because we're not talking about separable components. Things get tricky. And pretty much all these guys are frauds, uh, intellectual frauds. I mean, I'm, whether, whether we're talking about that uh, primal guy uh, in Albuquerque, uh, they're all obsessed with, uh, with uh, genetics and heredity. And that's fine. You can love your people who look like you. You can have a lot of uh, affection for your community that's fine for your ancestry whatever you want but just don't try to demean others because if if we took you as a person not as a group you'd be nothing okay all these guys are intellectually nothing and not one single person of my whole community understand what correlation means <laughs> to start with or regression so we're talking about really uh, the rejects of science who end up doing IQ studies Thank you for listening. Have a good day. Bye.